News. It's been six days since the death of George Floyd, an unarmed black man who died in police custody after officers nailed on Floyd's neck for several minutes. This incident now sparking outrage and emotion across the country. Fox 24's and Kira Kazuka joins us live in Bentonville with how this is impacting our area. And Kirika, good morning to you. Hey, good morning, Tavares. So even though Floyd's death happened in Minneapolis, Minnesota, it is sparking protests and demonstrations all over the country, including right here in Northwest Arkansas and the River Valley. Now, our KNWA Fox 24 teams were at the protests in Fort Smith this weekend. Overall, they say things were pretty peaceful, pretty peaceful both days. Now in Fort Smith, the organizer Layla Holloway says the goal was to spread awareness of the situation and encourage a call to action. Protesters lined Rogers Avenue with signs they were chanting and making their voices heard, including Sandy Hartgraves, who says she was protesting for her husband of 30 years and other black people who she says have been treated unfairly. Um, I want it to be safe for our, our black citizens and families, and I want it to be safe for our law enforcement because when the bad guys th slip through the cracks and do something like happened um, to George Floyd, it, it makes it bad for everyone. We can't have peace on earth if that keeps up. Now, while the Fort Smith protest was peaceful overall, there was an incident involving a man with a knife. Eric Mitchell with the Fort Smith Police Department says the man was stopped at 58th and Rogers and arrested on a suspended license. Mitchell says it will be up to prosecutors to decide if he will face charges for the knife. No one was hurt. Now, there is another protest planned for tonight here at the Bentonville Square. It's set to start at 730. Live in Bentonville, in Kirikazoka, Fox 24 News.